All right, so that's how we can, of course, explode or burst attributes. But what if I still want things to be an attribute? But what I need to do is update the value of attributes, maybe based on a calculation. How can I do that? Well, unfortunately, there's not really a way to do it inside of AutoCAD. But if we take a step back, Excel is really good at doing calculations. And most folks that I know who use AutoCAD are also pretty good with Excel. So might Excel be the answer? Let's explore here. So jumping into AutoCAD here, I have another just sample floor plan here. The difference here is that each of these rooms or spaces are labeled with a label and each of these areas or rooms have a number and maybe i've been asked to update the numbering convention here from a hundred numbering convention maybe to a thousand numbering convention so instead of office 177 i want this to be office 1077 instead of office 178 i want this to be office 1078 and so on down the line we could double click each of these individually or is there a way that we can take all of these attribute values and throw them into Excel and then bring them back? Well, by turning to our trusty old Express Tools, there absolutely is. In fact, here under Express Tools, we have two commands here that will let you sort of bridge the gap between block attributes inside of AutoCAD and then modifying those attributes inside of something like Excel. So we have the ability to import and export attributes. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to begin just by picking on one of my room tags here. I'm going to right click and use the super handy select similar. Uh, that's a tip in and of itself. And that, of course, has AutoCAD find all of the room tags in this drawing. So I've selected all of the room tags in the drawing. And all I'm going to do now is here under Express Tools, I'm going to run this tool here under the blocks panel, which is export attributes or ATT out if you are a command line person. Here, I'm going to um, export this. I'm going to maybe export it as room IDEN demo here for a moment and hit save. So there I have exported all of the attributes out of my AutoCAD drawing. And now if I were to open up that text file, it's a tab delimited text file. I've opened that up as a tab delimited text file right here inside of Excel. Notice here is my room number column. And what I can do now is just a very simple formula. I'm going to go ahead and say equals this minus 100 plus 1000, like so. And just like that, with a simple formula, I have updated the room number from 172 to 1072. I'll just fill this down real quick. And what I'm going to do is just copy this header over into the new column F. And depending on how you're doing this, just a quick little export like I've done here. I'm just going to hide this column. That's all I need to do is hide it. You might get fancier with some Excel formulas and spreadsheets and whatnot, but this is all we need here. Now, something I should point out here, the magic of this has nothing to do with the position of the attribute inside of your drawing. Instead, it has to do with the handle of the attribute. So every object inside of AutoCAD gets a unique handle. And so if you erase one of these attributes and you put another attribute of another block right on top of it in the exact same place, this whole thing will break. So it has to be that insertion of the attributes. So keep that in mind. This handle column is what is making this whole thing work. So anyway, I've updated the room numbers. I'm just going to save this file now. And if we jump back into AutoCAD, I'm now going to use sort of the cousin command here. We just use the export attributes. I'm now going to use import attributes. And I'm going to go ahead and pick on this room IDEN TXT file right here. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and click open. And as soon as I do, it's going to import that data. If I zoom in now, you'll notice that all of my room tags have been updated from a 100 numbering convention to a 1000 numbering convention just like that. And I could certainly extend this out to update all of these door tags with the appropriate room number as well. But again, it's as easy as that. Just export the attributes out to a text file, make whatever modifications you need to in Excel, and we can bring them straight back in using the import attributes command right there. Super duper handy function here inside of AutoCAD.